Hey YouTube, what's going on man? Today is the day after 420, so I salute you to all you pot smoking hippies out there. I hope you had a great flight and came down safely. Anyway, now my 420 was um, a little odd. I woke up, did a little yawn, did a little stretch. Went into the um, kitchen, get a nice little Diet Dr. Pepper, maybe something, a little Swiss cake roll to snack on. Come back in my room, I'm chilling out, playing some video games, doing the dorky thing. And um, all of a sudden, I hear someone peel out. So, I'm like, what's, what's going on? So, um, to the window I rushed with such urgency, um, and I peeked through the blind, you know, when you... Peeked through the blind, and um, I saw nothing other than two men stealing things out of my neighbor's house. I did. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, after looking through the blinds and realizing what was going on, I quickly grabbed my phone and dialed 911. And um, while I was on the phone with the um, police, they were stealing a TV, a Xbox 360, and a Wii. Um, they did not make it to the house on time, which was a total bummer. In fact, they just missed them by about two minutes. But um, that was something that I had never seen before. In fact, it was nothing like what I saw in the movies. These people were not rushing in and out of the house. They were not in a hurry. They straight up just lifted the garage open and just started putting stuff in the truck like not night. Oh yeah, we don't get we do this all the time. Yeah, sure. That's it's it's real easy. Anyway, all right. Um, but yeah, it was just it was totally weird, and I I I didn't think it would be like that. Um, anyway, I just had to give the cops some information, and uh, hopefully they catch them little boogers. Um, but in other news, a local Florida man was cruelly and unusually punished by waiting in line on a queue on the phone with the customer service rep for over an hour. This man was uh, actually me. Yeah, today I had to fix a uh, issue with my classes. They were a little tangled up and mangled and I needed them untangled and mangled so that I could tie them into a nice cute little bow. And uh, basically I was trying to do it on the computer and it was not listening to what I had to say. So I had to call the customer service rep where I was put on hold for over an hour where I had time to brush my teeth, go pee, take a shower, and fix myself a nice, nice, tasty steak on the grill. Um, but towards the end of it, after I was done and completely bored, I managed to uh, savor this last little clip where I was, I was so close. Thank you for continuing to hold. Please be assured that your call will be forwarded to the time and attention that it deserves. Anyway, I think I'm done boring y'all for today. Hopefully, um, I was just a tiny bit entertaining. By the way, all those stories were in fact true, and, uh, didn't make that stuff up. Anyway, I do have a question for you, though, because I love hearing from, uh, people. I've only had, like, a couple comments, and I love it. I, I respond, and it's fun. So anyway, talk to me, and, uh, here's my question. Um, just how important does a person have to be? to be considered assassinated instead of murdered. Just a little food for thought.